All right, so I'm on my way to go meet some buddies. They decided they wanted to go out drifting tonight, so I figured this would be a really good chance to test out the 318 Ti after doing everything that we just did to it. Uh, I got a bunch of tires. I definitely won't need this many tires, but you know, I figured it's better, uh, better to be safe than sorry. But yeah, I guess there's not much else to say, but I guess I'll see you guys in Mexico. We've arrived, and holy shit, does this car fucking rattle now. You can just hear the windshield just going at it. I don't, I've never heard a windshield do that before. I don't know if it's like coming loose or what. I'm gonna just do some donuts real quick to get warmed up. She'll do first gear for sure. <laughs> so this is the spot. Because it's not like super big, but you can see there's a good potential for lines through this little portion over here. There's a really skinny little um, connection between the two lots over there, but you can't really drift that because it's just too skinny. But yeah, this place is pretty nice. The boy Cameron has arrived. Yes, sir. <laughs> Let's do some figure eights now. I'll just do some like first gear figure eights. Get a feel for how the car is feeling now. Dude, the extra angle is feeling so good. I'm so gonna dem with you, dude. Oh yeah. <laughs> All right, I'll have to excuse the wind noise, but this is what we have set up so far. So you start back there over by that cone and you come through here into an outer zone through this little alley. And then as you come around, we have another outside zone that you go into back over there. And it comes around into an inside clip over there. And then you bring it back through here come around this turn over towards that cone you swing it left around that cone and then you're trying to end up to the left of that cone bring it back around to a hairpin to bring you back to this first outside zone probably did a terrible job explaining that probably had a hard time figuring out how this is all laid out but once we're in the car we'll be able to see pretty well all right we changed up the layout a little bit that far cone i'm gonna come around it on the outside from the right and then come around this closer cone like around the outside this way and then go into the outer zone back over there. You guys will see. I honestly just don't even know how second gear is gonna fare in this tight of an area. So I'll see if second gear works over here, but. Oh yeah, second gear has no fucking run. Maybe if I get more speed, but I don't know if I can follow a layout in here. You're gonna have to, you're gonna have to abuse your clutch. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Keeping the rounds ah. up. We'll see, man. You got it, bro. Yeah, it's, we're just here for practice anyway. Yeah, I'm gonna try and get a little bit more of a run up. It's much better than the 
better. That Are was... you left foot braking? No, I haven't practiced left foot braking like at all. Dude, you had perfect speed. So yeah, right in. here. But when you come into here, just tap your left foot brake and try. Okay. Yeah, I'm also battling fucking rubbing up front because I usually run, I ran smaller tires. I ran the ones that are on the back up front last time so they didn't rub at full lock. Yeah. So I'm really trying to battle that a little bit too. I think that's what I'm hearing. Yeah. for me and my skills levels are not there yet. <laughs> I took out the car and punted that bitch. <laughs> oh, that was so good. <laughs> yeah, I'm really starting to figure out how to throw the weight around on this car. I was watching for your left foot brake. No, I know, I know. So when would be a good time to left foot brake? Is that just to like kind of like close up the turn a little bit or when would be a good time whenever somebody uses the e-brake as a band-aid to slow down okay. that's when your left foot brake okay okay oh, I, I meant to brake not clutch kick <laughs> <laughs> I guess this is preparing me a little bit for uh, trying to drive different tracks. <laughs>
distance. So we made back home, car made in one piece, thankfully. Um, my driving definitely was not the greatest night. Could be a combination of just like being rusty or, or like also trying to hit zones, which I've never tried to do. Overall, car did all right though. Second gear, little rough, didn't really want to get going, but as soon as I got the tire pressures up a little bit, worked out fine. I really need to figure out the binding issues because I was having like a super small amount of binding issues like coming out of full lock. And along with that, I also just need to get something together to figure out the rubbing issues that I have at full lock. So those are going to be kind of two things I need to figure out soon. I'm still debating whether or not I want to go to the next drift event, but chances are I will. I'm, I'm honestly not sure at this point, but overall, I'd say tonight was a pretty good success. Really confused as to why my windshield is rattling. That's also going to be something else I need to figure out. But I think that's going to end this video, guys. I hope you all enjoyed. I hope you all have a nice night, and I'll see you in the next one.